Okay, we're going to have a go at observing the shell, but instead of using pencil or paint, we're going to use a fine liner pen and then a wash to try and get a subtle tone. Shells are very pale and sometimes if you draw them in pencil, they, they can look very heavy. Uh, and obviously we want this to look quite, quite light. Um, if you really wanted to, you could sketch out in pencil very, very faintly first, um, or you could be really brave and, and go with the pen. So we're observing this just to look at its structure and form and we'll use these to give us some ideas for our Gaudi towers later on in the project. So we're just very lightly sketching out and don't worry if you go wrong, you can correct it. That's part of a, doing a pen drawing sometimes. Okay, now look for where the darker tones are on the shell. Most of the dark tones are actually underneath and behind the shell. So I'm just going to put some darker kind of crosshatch tones underneath the shell here, just to help make it stand out and it will help create some shadow later. I'm just using small scribbles, kind of working in the direction of the shell. You can cross hatch if you want to, that's fine. Try and lighten up your pressure. There's also some slightly darker tones just inside the shell where it's curving round. So we're gonna put a little bit of tone in there just to create that kind of hollow uh, look. And we're leaving some of it quite pale There's a little bit of tone down here, but not very much. So I'm literally just going to add a little bit of crosshatch, and then I can just see the edge of the shell. Okay? So you don't necessarily need to add too much more. I might just add a little just bit to suggest the shadow there. Okay, so now I'm ready to add my wash. So I've just got a little bit of clean water and a brush, and what the wash does is it just makes the ink run. So where you have a few lines, it'll just bleed out and just create a little bit more tone. Now the nice thing with this is once it's dry, you can always go back over it if you think it needs to be a little bit darker. And also, there's a little bit of ink on the end of my brush there, so I can kind of put like a dark grey in, in places too, if I think it needs to be a bit darker. Okay, I'm also going to just add that shadow and it'll kind of naturally bleed out and just give you that sense that the shell is, is sat on something rather than just floating around the page. Okay, I'm just going to blend, so I'm just cleaning my brush just to kind of blend some of those edges which I've got there. But yeah, again it's just a nice quick way of working, help me create this sense of tone um, and form within your drawing, so have a go.